The age old question, how many calories should I eat coach? Well, the first thing you need to do is get yourself a smartwatch so that you can determine how many calories each day are you burning on a seven day scale. So you add up Monday through Sunday and then you divide that by seven and that's gonna tell you how many calories that you're burning on average a day. Now what you wanna do is reduce that by 500 calories per day, which after about 28 days, you should notice to lose a pound a week because it takes 3,500 calories deficit in order for you to lose one pound. Then it takes about four weeks for your body to stabilize these new calories because it was probably used to the fluctuating between low calories during the weekday and then the high calories on the weekend. So you're always stuck gaining and losing that same one to two pounds. You gotta give yourself at least four weeks to stabilize that consistent 500 caloric deficit every single day in order to start seeing that one pound of fat loss per week. Now here's the catch, is that if you actually wanna see results, then we actually have to be tracking all of your foods. And if you don't know how to track, rewind a couple videos ago, I showed you exactly how things need to be tracked. And you must stay consistent. When you go out to eat, it makes it tough. And in fact, if you really are focused on this, unless you bring your food scale to dinner with you and you're weighing everything, then I would recommend that maybe you don't eat out for 28 days if you actually wanna see weight loss changes. Because if you can't track the food that you're using, then the numbers aren't going to be specific. And so what you think is 200 grams of egg whites at a restaurant is actually maybe 250 grams. And where you thought they were putting five grams of butter, they're actually using 50 grams. And that's such a huge difference. So you need to make sure that you're tracking all the food because otherwise your number is going to be off and it has to be consistent for four weeks. So there we have it guys. When you ask me how many calories you should be eating, well, you need to determine your average first. Then you want to take a 500 caloric daily deficit from that total. Give yourself four weeks to allow stabilization because your body was probably used to the fluctuating calories between low and high calories, which is leading you to gain and lose the same one to two pounds. And you have to understand that in order to see changes, you have to consistently do something. And to consistently do something, you must track everything that you eat.